When fitting electromagnetic door closers to the pull side of the door, choose the correct template, the correct hand, tape to the door and pilot drill the fixing holes. Move the template and position lower down the door for ease of instructions. And position the spring, the catch comes to the top of the door closer unit. Then remove the lockout bolts on each end for the electrical connections. Save these bolts for a little later. Do this on both ends so you can get at the fixing positions. Fix to the door with the electromagnet nearest to the hinge side. Taking this part of the arm, fit the long side towards the hinge. Refix the grub screws on each end for the electrical connection. When assembling the arm, the nylon washers go in first, then the steel washers, and this sits directly onto the arc wheel. Put the bolt through the second hole and locked on with a washer nut. The end hole has a shoulder bolt and washer that goes straight into the door closer body. This comes straight out from the door closer and is tightened on. Plug the wiring loop together. Fasten up. Switch on the electricity. This brings the magnet together. Open the door and pull the arm round so the whole open catch engages. The magnet will now hold and take the strain. You can now connect the two parts of the arm together and fasten with an allen key. I need to fasten one little nut and we can try the door. If we switch the electricity off, the door will automatically close. We need to adjust the arm so this part of it is at 90 degrees to the frame. And then we can tighten the other nut. Now we can adjust the door closing valves. Valve 1 is for the main closing speed. I'm fully open to 15 degrees. Valve 2 is the latching speed. From 15 degrees to closed. You can adjust and try again. satisfied with the valve speed, we can adjust the hold open arm so that the door holds open at the angle required. Switch the electricity back on and open the door. This will engage the catch that tells you which angle the door is at. If you require to change that, you can undo the nut Move the door to the angle required and re-tighten. That gives you your fixed opening angle for the hold open door. The door will stay there until the fire alarm goes off or the power is switched off which will allow the door to close again. When you're satisfied with all the 
adjustments. You can pop out the necessary bits to fit the door closer cover on, tie it into place, and fix with the screws provided.